everyone and welcome to my zone online school my name is Tita Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today our theme this week is my family and before we get into anything today we are going to sanitize remember everyone you need to sanitize to make sure that anything you touch does not have any germs at all and we are staying safe from coronavirus make sure that everything is dry including your hands before you touch it now that is now that that is done <laughs> our lesson for today is family and nouns Our first exercise for today is coming from page six. On page six, it's asking you to do an activity. And this one is a fun, fun one, grade twos. You are going to draw you and your family. Wow. There are so many different types of family members that we have in our family. Let us take a look at the board. On the board, I have three different types of families. Now, in this family, you can see that there are four people and they are sitting and reading and smiling. That could be your family. And on this one, we have a family that is standing. They are even waving to us. Let's wave to them. Hello. <laughs> and in this one, we have a family with an extra member here, which we are going to talk about later on. So when you are drawing your family, boys and girls, draw the people that you live with. It can be extended family or immediate family. Draw them nicely. You can even draw them with whatever they like to wear. For example, I like to wear the color maroon. So if someone was drawing me and my family, they would color with the color maroon for my dress. <laughs> Let's turn back to the exercise. After you are done drawing your family, you are going to go and complete the sentences below. Let us try together where there is a dash. I want you to put your own information, your own story. So it is like we are making up our own story about ourselves. It says, let's read together. My name is Dash. Where you can see the dash, that is where I would like you to put your name. And grade twos, if you can write your full name, that is a super duper correct answer let's now try the second one the second one says i am dash years old please can you write how old you are you can be six years old or seven years old or eight years old or nine years old just write the age that you are at right now and then it says, my birthday is on the dash. <gasps> oh my goodness. If you don't know this one, you're going to need some help from someone in your family. But I tell you this, the clever, clever, clever children already know when their birthday is. And I would like you to please put the date, which means that you're going to put a number and a month. Then it says, I have dash hair and dash eyes. Please tell us the color of your hair or the length of your hair. For example, I have short hair and brown eyes. And then it moves on to, I am a member of the dash family. Now, this part is very, very important. You might need some help from your family members. The family you belong to always has a name. 
For example, you can belong to the Nangolo family, which means that anyone that has the last name or the surname Nangolo is part of your family. And lastly, it says, I like Dash very much. Now this one, you can put whatever you like very much. You can like playing very much. You can like ice cream very much. Or you can like singing very much. You can put whatever you want there so long the sentence makes sense. Remember, boys and girls, you must always check your spellings. Check that each and every word is spelled correctly. Let me leave you to this exercise and I'll see you soon. Have fun. Let's turn to page seven. On page seven, you can see that we have family members, but now we have two types of family members. We have immediate family members and extended family members. Now I'm going to help you by building a tree on the board and you are going to build it with me. So let's take a look at the board. So the first people that are at the top, top, top of our tree are going to be grandfather and grandmother. These are the people right at the top of the tree. You can see. Now grandfather and grandmother came together to build their family and they built this part of the family. The first part that they built was your mother and your mother is here. There is mom and she met your father. Here is father and father is here. The other side of the family that they built, who is the extended part as well, is going to be your uncle. So your mother and uncle come from the same family. So here is uncle. And then your uncle met your aunt. There we go. And they decided to build their family. So, so far we have at the top, because like a tree they grow, we have grandfather, grandmother, mother, which came from grandfather and grandmother. Then we have father who met your mother. And then mother has a brother, which you call your uncle. Uncle met a woman and married her and she became your aunt. Now let's go down to the family because mother and father decided to build their family too. And in that family, there is you. You are part of the family. There we go. And there you are looking so wonderful. So they decided to build you. And not just you, they also wanted your sister. So your sister is here. They also had your sister. So your parents are mother and father and your sibling is your sister. On the other side, 
we have the extended family members. Now, your uncle and aunt also want to build their family with children. And these people to you are called cousins. This is one cousin. She will be here. And then this is another cousin. He will be here. So as you can see, there is a family that has been built. Now we have a beautiful family tree. So I'm going to explain the immediate and extended family. If you remember our last lesson, we said that in a family we have father, mother, sister, brother, and you. That part of the family is the immediate family, the people that are closest in relation to you. But they're not the only people related to you. We also have extended family, which means even though you are here, there are other people who are related to you, but are not as close. This is why we use the word extended. And part of our extended family is grandfather, grandmother, uncle, aunt, and cousins. This is why when we are drawing our family tree, we include them as well. So even though uncle and, mo and mother are related, uncle is your extended, but mother is your immediate family. Now, let us take a look back at our exercise. We are now going to take a look at completing the blocks there. As you can see, there is a family tree on top, very similar to the one that we built on the board. And it is asking, who are your immediate families? And who are your extended family members? Remember to write inside the blocks the name of the family member. Please think hard, take a good look at the family tree and write your answer correctly. Have fun and I'll see you just now. I hope you managed to make sure that you put your immediate family in the right boxes and your extended family in the right boxes. Remember, if you're not sure, there is no problem with asking someone to help you. Now, let us turn to page 8 for our next exercise. On page 8, you can see that we have nouns in the word box. You are going to choose from the word box below to name the things you can see in the picture. Let's take a look at the picture. Oh, there is so much going on in that picture and everyone looks like they are having fun. That's wonderful. Now you are going to name everything. Remember, a noun is a naming word. So if you are going to look for the things that are in the picture, make sure it is the correct named thing. For example, the first one is dog dog. Can you see a dog anywhere? Yes, you can see a dog and it's probably trying to get that ball. <laughs> so what you are going to do is write the name dog where you can see the dog. Make sure that you use the arrows to help you identify the different things in the picture. And you're going to do all these by yourself. The only thing I will help you with is reading the words. Let us read the words together. We'll start with dog, then we'll go to ball. Are you ready? Let's go. Dog. Ball. Helmet. Girl. Boy. 
grass, store, cat, tree, bug, town, mom, teacher, rock, flower, dad, cloud, rain, path, bicycle. Did you read all the words with me, grade twos? Wonderful, good job. Now, remember, not all the words in the word box are going to be there in the picture. So it's your job to make sure that you name the correct thing. And when you are done using that word, cross it out so that you don't use it again. Let's now turn to page nine for our next exercise. On page nine, it is asking you about relationships. Let's all say the word relationships. Below is a table where you have family members and on the other side you have relationships. It is your job to match the family member to the relationship. Now remember, this relationship is concerning you, 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 you. Because if you don't think about who this person is, then you will not get the relationship very quickly. In fact, it might even be confusing. <laughs> so I am going to help you with at least one of these relationships. Let's turn to the board. On the board, I have an aunt, and then I have the word father's sister. Remember what I said, that you have to focus on you. So you say, your aunt is your father's sister. That's how you know that she is your aunt. And this is how I'd like you to match. You are going to take your pencil or color and you're going to move from the word aunt and match it to the word or words father's sister as you can see it in your exercise. So you're just going to draw a line from one word to another. And this exercise needs you to also think twice about who is who in the family. Make sure you take your time. And if you need more help, you can ask your teacher or you can ask your parents to help you. And this is the last exercise that we have for this lesson. Remember, grade twos, when we are done, we need to sanitize our hands because we have been touching all sorts of things during the lesson. Make sure that when you're sanitizing, that your hands are dry after, before you touch anything else. But I wonder, I haven't seen our little friend today. Have you? Oh, hi, Sashi. <laughs> So, from Zoshi and I, we would like to say goodbye.